Hello from Tokyo. I've got a bit of free time here after the Polyglot Conference down in Fukuoka in southern Japan. It's my first visit to the country, my first visit to the capital. And of course, one of the things I wanted to do was to look out for bookshops here. And some of them seem to be pretty big. This is Jonkuru, which is rumoured to be the biggest bookshop in Tokyo. Some of the books uh, have the original translation, say the title in English, the subtitle there, before you go into Japanese inside. There are lots of beautiful looking magazines with a bit of a designy feel. This map of the store hardly helps me. Nothing for it but to do a bit of an exploration. All the big bookshops I've been in so far in Japan have really great stationery sections with beautiful writing paper, stickers, all sorts of pens. The paper in the notebooks uh, is generally very shiny, which I don't really like actually. As a left-hander I tend to find that I smudge when I write on that type of paper very easily. I bet that I've exiled the language books to one of the higher, more obscure floors. This looks like the cooking and diet section. Lifestyle. These look like cheap thrillers. It's not manga. The sheer amount of fiction on sale is staggering. All the really big bookshops I've been in, in Fukuoka as well, they have this sort of budget feel to them in the sense that sort of rather cheap wooden um, shelves, um, old-fashioned ceilings, sort of rather old-fashioned feel, not necessarily a criticism in such a commercialised and otherwise glitzy society. I'm not sure what these are, but beautifully bound. There's a cafe here too, although it looks as if it's closed tonight. Maybe there's a deliberate attempt to get a feel of some cross between a store and some sort of university library. I'd guess these are children's school books. Up to the eighth floor. For languages then, it's the eighth floor. Learning French. Vast amount of materials for people wanting to take exams in English. A lot of stuff for Korean. Italian. German. Bears. Matryoshka. Spanish. Arabic, Portuguese, Classical Latin. Here's the section for those of us who are learning Japanese. This is an intermediate book uh, all about Japanese customs and usefully it's got the furagana on top of the kanji. I've spent ages in the Japanese language section. I think the announcement's just gone out that it's closing time, so better go and pay for these. That's it then for today. There was one other language book I had my eye on, but the copy they had there was a bit tatty. So I might uh, visit another bookshop tomorrow, uh, bring you along with me and see if I can get it there. Now in Ginza, which is quite a chic area, just to the southeast of Tokyo Station, uh, lots of boutiques and big brands here, but there's also the Yaisu Book Centre, so let's go in and see what they've got. We've got travel guides here on the ground floor. Again, a magazine section. Boat Boy, anybody? Men's X, Men's Fudge, The Mind Boggles. 
It says that foreign books are on the seventh floor. Maybe the languages are there as well. There's a coffee shop as well. You can see in the gallery at the back there. Lots of management books. Here we've got books about insects, animals and flowers. Now hitting the fourth floor. I think this is the history section. I'd guess these were affordable editions of quality classics. There's a lot of them. Wow, this looks like a lot of fun. Here are the books for English learners, so maybe the learning foreign languages section is here too. Yes, yes, Spanish. Italian. Ah, yes. Compared with the other big bookshops I've seen, the learning Japanese section is pretty meagre here. I've decided to take these two books about life in Japan home with me. They're very light to carry, but they're packed with info. And they've also got the kanji characters, but also the kana alphabet for pronunciation as well. Now to head for the checkout before I get tempted any further. There's a central checkout system here. Just a short wait. Now I'm going to hop on a train to go around the city to the final bookshop. I'm now in Shinjuku, one of the most bustling consumer districts in Tokyo, full of tourists shoppers, spenders of all descriptions. But here is Kino Kunya, one of the biggest book chains actually. I know it from Singapore, uh, but I think this is the main store. It's books and media really, a bit like FNAC perhaps in France. Here goes. I'd love to know what this book is. It's been heavily promoted on the front desks of all the shops I've been into, it seems. Stationery and diaries, magazines. Rank of cashiers here. Low budget feel to it. Not a criticism, as I said before. There is a lift. Along with the architecture and the art and design on the fourth floor, natural science has a huge computing section. Floor seven, language learning, foreign languages. There are some learning Japanese books. A great many of them. I found my textbook Japanese from zero on sale. Clear closing in five minutes. Please bring your final purchases to the cashier. Oh, the time pressure's on. A couple more language books. I got to Kinokunya in the nick of time. <laughs> That's the end of this quick bookshop safari here in Tokyo. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was my first visit here to the city, so I focused in on some of the biggest stores. Of course, there'll be lots of smaller antiquarian, second-hand and specialist ones that I wasn't able to visit. Perhaps one or two whoppers I missed too. If you know of bookstores I should visit next time I'm in Tokyo, do let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the vibe, think about a thumbs up, tickle that bell and share the affair. Now I'm off back to my hotel to start leafing through some of those purchases. See you next time.